Welcome back to the Mr. Think Smart Show. I am in the presence of greatness. I'm in the presence of a doctor. A, uh, I would call her an evangelist, but she calls herself a reverend. Now, I'm going to let her introduce herself. But remember, you're on the Mr. Think Smart Show, so I need you to subscribe as well as put that, push that like button. And we're going to get to it, to this interview, because it's powerful. Ma'am, introduce yourself to the world. Yes, greetings. Hello, my name is Reverend Dr. Sheila Bunton. I am the founder of Total Restoration Ministries, a nonprofit ministry that uh, ministers to those who are broken. My message is to those that are broken, I will get in the trenches with you. However, when I get in the trenches with you, we're not going to stay in the trenches. We're coming out of the trenches together. If you really have a heart to be restored, I have a ministry that is 12 years old as of this year. I uh, have a passion for women, those that are broken, those who are in transition, and those who haven't yet come into the knowledge of knowing the purpose and the plan that God has for their life. And so I love, 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 I love what I do. You hear it, she loves what she does. Now, we're gonna ask her a few questions because I want you all to be tuned in and I want you all to follow her. So, first question, how did you get into uh, ministry? Because we know that coming from spiritual backgrounds, we know that all work is ministry. Yes. But how did you get into the ministry that you're in, per se, right now, and your movement with restoration? It's funny that you asked the question, how did I get into it? I got into it by being obedient. Got it. By accepting the call that is on my life. Got it. It's not something that I pursued. It's not something that I wanted. It's not something I thought about as a little girl growing up. It's a call. It is truly a call. You have to be called mm -hmm. to ministry. It's not a fad because you have to be in it even when you're by yourself. Mm -hmm. And so I was called to this ministry by our Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. And so I answered the call that was on my life. And the ministry grew out of the fact of my own broken life. Mm -hmm. My life was a life of brokenness as well. I came from a broken, dysfunctional family. And so God birthed the ministry, Total Restoration Ministry. He birthed that ministry back in 2006. And from there, we just been growing and we just been seeking God as to how he wanted me to cultivate the ministry and move the ministry forward. Mm -hmm. Now, moving forward, you have also, you had a journey. We've talked about your journey. Now, you also have a building that is up and coming, correct? Yes. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes. Um, my hopes and plan is to be opening up my own restoration resource center real soon here mm -hmm. in the Richardson area. Mm -hmm. And the resource center will be a center for those who are in transition, those who are broken, that are in need for biblical counseling, GED training, financial literacy classes, uh, computer training classes. We're helping those that are in that transition to give them a second chance in life. Because a lot of times uh, people stay in a place that they are because they don't think that they have another the chance or they think that it's too late but being a believer and being a follower is never too late for God it doesn't matter what your age is it doesn't matter how late you started it's if you have a willing heart and so the resource center will be opening soon in Richardson all right this year every year we do an annual restoration walk it's WBR walking believing and receiving wow God gave me that name years ago. Okay. Even though it's a prayer walk, but sometimes people come out for exercise. It's more than just walking. It's believing and receiving. And if you under and if you think about walking, believing, and receiving, those are three action words. Yeah, they are. So which means it requires of us to do something. So not only when you come out of walk, you gotta believe. When you believe, you will receive. Six, the registration fee is thirty dollars. It's open to the general public, and the money it goes to the building fund. Got it goes toward the building because I am a nonprofit. Got it, got it. And that is huge. Don't down non for profit. I have my own non for profit as well as Think Smart Enterprises. Now, now you recently bought a book. I mean, bought a book. Excuse me. I bought your book. Yes, you did. <laughs> you recently uh, wrote a book. Mm -hmm. And I want to premiere that. And here's your book right here. Now, this is her copy on her desk, but I have my own personal copy. Yes, you did. What's going on, family? Yes, we're back with season two of the Mr. Think Smart show on Think Smart TV. Now, we encourage you to go watch the last 14 episodes on Think Smart TV and 
uh, check out the interviews that we have with these great people. They're doing great. But I want you to elaborate just a small bit on your book because I want people to buy it. Okay, on this book, the name of the book is called Do You Want to Be Made Whole? It's a biblical guide to mastering your purpose in life. Mm -hmm. And so the book was actually birthed from my dissertation. Mm -hmm. And so when I read my dissertation, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of hard work. Didn't think I could do it. Right, but right. by the grace of God, I was able to complete it. Mm -hmm. And so I took the dissertation and I rewrote it mm -hmm. to put it not only for the academic level, but for the general public to be able to read it, to be able to follow it, and to be able to apply the principles that are written in this book to their own personal life as to how to walk in wholeness. Got it. Got it. That's, that's huge. And the book, the book is powerful, people. Purchase it. Uh, what platforms can they purchase your book? They can purchase it uh, if they're here in the local area, DFW area. They can uh, purchase it locally for me and they can get an autograph copy. Okay, and I'll make sure I, I put that in your place. Yes, and then also they can purchase it on Amazon.com. The bill, I mean, it can be purchased there as well. Okay, okay. Now, also you have uh, some merchandise to be sold. Yes. So you have your t-shirts. I have t-shirts. Talk, talk a little bit about your t-shirts. On the t-shirts, I have three actual different t-shirts. One is the logo, mm -hmm. and the logo is a broken heart. Okay. Because I my ministry is restoration. Correct. So the heart is broken with the lady coming out with her heart now whole. Got it. They come in one way, but they leave another way. Perfect. That's one of the t-shirts. Another t-shirt is called Restored Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. And the reason it's Restored Lives Matter, I know we have a movement with black, you know, Black Lives Matter, absolutely Black Lives Matter. All lives are important. But my thought process is this, that if the life is restored mm -hmm. from a place of brokenness, mm -hmm. a lot of the crime that we face today, a lot of the racism, a lot of the prejudice, mm -hmm. if we really walk in the image and knowing who we are in Christ, that restored life will see others as God sees us. Perfect. Restored lives matter. Right. Because a restored life is a life that's turned back to Shuvah, which is a Hebrew word for restore. So if we turn back to God and be who God has purposed and called us to be, we can live in a world and we can love one another and treat each other as God has commissioned for us to do so. So that's the second t-shirt, Restore Lives Matter. And then the third t-shirt is called God Allows U-Turns. And that's from Jeremiah 15 and 9. And the scripture says that if you return to me, I will restore you. Right. And in life, oftentimes we think we're not good enough, we're bad enough, we've done things so so heinous that God will not forgive us. But God allows us to make U-turns. There's a lot of places in life where you see the sign that says no U-turn. Mm -hmm. But I'm so grateful we serve a God. He allows a U-turn no matter what juncture or place we are in our lives. He allows us to turn around and come back to Him. So true, so true. Now. Your platforms. Uh, you have a Facebook page. Yes. I would like you to give the people your Facebook page. Okay. And uh, you said Amazon already can look up um, the book, and I will feature that. I'll feature everything she said. She was ministering to me as well as you while she was speaking. Did you feel the power? I know you did. <laughs> so um, let them know. Is it just your first name, or do you have a business, uh, a business uh, fan page, or just let the people know? I want to make sure we put your platforms. The, the there's, there's various pages, social media pages. I do have a Facebook uh, page, which is my personal name, Sheila Bunton. And that's Sheila, S-H-E-I-L-A, Bunton is B-S in boy, U-N-T-O-N. You can look me up that way. And then I also have my ministry page, which is called Total Restoration Ministries. I'm also on Instagram as Dr. B underscore, and I'm also on Twitter. Right, because that's what they call you, Dr. B. Right? They call me Dr. B. Dr. B. Yes. Now, before we leave, because I have to get this, because I'm, I'm, I'm in a presence of greatness. You do a lot of work outside, a lot of ministry, and you help people. Yes. Um, is there any places that you serve that you want to share? Yeah. Um, for the last six years, come this September the 14th, I will be volunteering, or have been volunteering at Dallas Life Homeless Shelter. Mm -hmm. I volunteer every Friday. Mm -hmm. I give my time to the men and the women there mm -hmm. that are in transition. Mm -hmm. um, so I teach a restoration class on Fridays from 1 to 2 every Friday. And then also I mentor there as well. I mentor the women. They have a 
four-step program that they have to go through and then by the time they get to the third level the women have to seek out mentors mm -hmm. and so oftentimes I'm asked to be a mentor for one of the women one of the residents will ask me to be their mentor they would love for me to be their mentor so I serve um, volunteer work through Dallas Life Homeless Shelter I go various uh, platforms where I speak on invited speaking engagements okay. I've done a commencement speech for the last 27-18 as well um, for universities as well so yeah so it's whatever that platform is seeking God's face if it's the platform that I need to enter right that is amazing that's great so people you heard it first on the Mission Think Smart Show I will be featuring everything she said because I want to make sure you are introduced I mean via social media to Dr. B so thank you for watching make sure you subscribe and you like by pushing that like button for more videos such as these and these interviews. Thank you. Dr. Thank you so much. Man, this is Dr. Sean, A plus award man, Dr. Saul the Hit Man. I'm here with Joe Size, man, Mr. Think Smart on Think Smart TV, man. Check my boy out. Go follow him, man. Peace out.